thrill of victory. The satisfaction of designing and building a prototype that passes the test. Regardless of the finishing order, every participant is a winner in Formula SAE. Formula SAE competition provides a chance for engineering students to test their classroom knowledge in a real-world experience. To use intelligence, ingenuity, creativity, and teamwork in designing and building a race car that meets the cost, safety, and performance goals set by SAE. It takes a year's worth of planning, hard work, sacrifice, and compromise to produce a vehicle that meets the exacting challenges of SAE. To all the students, faculties, sponsors, and volunteers who worked to make the 1993 Formula SAE a phenomenal success, this video is for you. The proud host for the 1993 competition was Chrysler Corporation, a firm supporter of engineering education. The new Chrysler Technology Center of Auburn Hills, Michigan was a testing site for the 1993 Formula SAE entries. Chrysler Corporation fully believes the only way for the United States to remain competitive in worldwide manufacturing and engineering procedures is to support today's students. Formula SAE offers an ideal opportunity to sharpen the organization, creativity, and teamwork skills of the engineers of the future. The 1993 Formula SAE officially began Thursday night, May 20th, with the arrival and registration of the 60 teams representing schools from across the United States, Canada, and Puerto Rico. After registration was completed, the teams brought their vehicles to the paddock area adjacent to the judging and track areas. There, the cars were unloaded and tuned for Friday's events. The competition began Friday morning with the drivers meeting to explain the day's events. These include the presentation event, evaluating the team's ability to sell their vehicle to an imaginary manufacturer, the cost event, analyzing the accuracy and cost reports prepared by each team, an engineering design event, inspecting and judging the design skills utilized in building the vehicle. In addition to these events, the Sports Car Club of America performed a technical inspection on each vehicle to ensure that the vehicle was safe and not performing outside the SAE rules of Formula SAE. After successful completion of the technical inspection, the vehicles were allowed to practice for the brake and noise testing. Only those cars that passed all SCCA tests were allowed to compete in Saturday's events. The top nine finishers from the design event were brought into the Technology Center for the design runoffs on Friday night. There, the finalists presented their vehicles for final inspection for a panel of judges. Students had the opportunity to discuss their designs with motorsports professionals such as Carol Smith, Alec Purdy, Jack Ald, Bob Riley, and Jim Mitchell. While the judges met and discussed their picks for design honors, participants had an opportunity to hear from one of the most fascinating personalities in automotive racing history, Mr. Carroll Shelby. Mr. Shelby spoke with the students about the development of his Shelby Can-Am race cars. The students took advantage of the unique opportunity to question Mr. Shelby and Mr. John Fernandez, an executive engineer in vehicle development with Chrysler. Mr. Fernandez spoke with the students about similarities between the eight-month development period of the Shelby Can-Am vehicles and the one-year development of Formula SAE cars. The winners of the design runoffs were University of Missouri at Rolla in third, University of Texas at Arlington in second, and Cornell University in first place. Saturday morning was devoted to the first dynamic events. These included the skid pad and acceleration runs. Terry Earwood, 
a professional race car driver and chief instructor at the Skip Barber Driving School, enthusiastically kicked off the acceleration event by demonstrating the straight line acceleration of a Viper. The students then took the acceleration and skid pad courses. Saturday afternoon was devoted to the autocross event. This consisted of a single lap around the complex course outlined by cones. Teams were scored on the time to complete the course and were penalized for moving or knocking down cones. The endurance and fuel economy events were run on Sunday. These events were the final chance for students to prove the integrity of their vehicle's design and durability while testing their own courage and driving skills. The awards banquet was held Sunday evening at Historic Meadowbrook Hall. There, Chrysler's Vice President of Vehicle Engineering addressed the Formula SAE participants. Mr. Castang, who was a Formula One team leader for Renault, stressed the importance and applications of teamwork in Formula SAE and in future endeavors. With a prediction, years from now, you students will look back on these Formula SAE program as one of the single most valuable experience of your engineering education. Just think about it. You have taken a vehicle from concept to prototype. Uh, you've made trade-offs in terms of cost. He explained that Chrysler Corporation's recent success can be attributed directly to its espousement of teamwork with the platform teams. And he encouraged the participants to look upon their Formula SAE training as a great learning tool and as an experience to be used in the future. Based on the accumulated points for the weekend events, Georgia Tech took third place. The University of Texas at Arlington took second and Cornell University took first. In addition to Chrysler's Spirit of Excellence Awards, other participating sponsors awarded the teams for taking honors in key categories. And although not every team took home honors, everyone walked away with a renewed spirit of competition, a desire to improve, and lasting memories of friendships developed during the 1993 Formula SAE competition.